Francis Fitzgerald. In the European Parliament is about life and death, but this is. The increase in domestic violence across Europe of 30% during the pandemic gives truth to the pervasiveness of this issue. To withdraw support for the Istanbul Convention is unconscionable. To see a major country such as Turkey opt out is shameful, inhumane and wrong. The misunderstandings that have been allowed to fester by leaders in some countries is disgraceful and threatens the lives of women and girls. Women are being attacked every moment of every day in every country around the world. Women are being attacked and they are dying. The Istanbul Convention simply ensures fundamental and basic human rights and safety for women. Today, the leaders of the member states will meet and Turkey is on the agenda. Prime ministers from across Europe must give the issue more than a passing glance or comment. Turkey has long been a geopolitical discussion for Europe. If Europe is to be a beacon of light for human rights around the world, then let's start with the basics, being safe in one's home. I call on the EU leaders to stand up for Turkish women today and to know that in Europe they have supporters and advocates. Let's call it out. Let's end violence against women. Thank you, Vice President. Thank you, Mrs Fitzgerald. Now for one minute on behalf of the S&D group, Irache Garcia Perez. Thank you, Madam President, uh, Minister, Commissioner, colleagues. 400 women have been murdered in Turkey since uh, 2018 at the hands of their husbands, victims of gender violence, or at the hands of their fathers or brothers, victims of honour crimes. Quite honestly, this is unacceptable, unsustainable. It is shameful what the Turkish uh, government is doing today. And in this struggle with Europe, he is, uh, Erdogan is using women as hostages, as uh, a bargaining chip, because it's always women that have to foot the bill. Uh, it's always women who suffer attacks uh, to fundamental rights. In a decision which goes against Turkey's own constitution. This is important for the whole of the world. Human rights know no borders. We hear news that soon the Polish government is going to follow suit. And you have to ask yourself, what does the Turkish government have in common with the Polish government? What is this hatred and allergy to women? A parliament here has to say that we will not accept this. We are raising our voice to reject this. Thank you. On behalf of the Renew Group, Maria Soraya Rodriguez Ramos. Gracias, Thank you, Madam Vice President. This decision by the Turkish government is devastating. The message it sends out is a terrible one, first and foremost to the women of Turkey. 40% of women in Turkey suffer gender-based violence. 300 women were killed. Although that figure itself pales into, into insignificance when you bear in mind that the Turkish government has said that many of them committed suicide. This is a very clear message that they just don't care about women. We have to say we do care. We care a lot. Turkey should withdraw its decision, reverse its decision and implement the convention. Dear colleagues, over the last nine years since Turkey signed the convention, what has happened up until Erdogan's withdrawal? Well, in the meantime, we've seen a day-to-day -day deterioration of human rights. We've seen sectarianism. We've seen them move away from the values which mean Europe in terms of women's freedom, women's rights, the most conservative and radical groups have undermined those rights. That is how dictatorships are built. That is how democracies die, with a decree undermining freedoms and rights for all by conservative, radical, ultra groups. 
So the Istanbul Convention is something that all Democrats should stand up for, to stand up for the rights of women and girls in Turkey, but here too in the EU. Thank you. Now, on behalf of the ID group, Christine Anderson. Madam President, dear colleagues, Turkey is withdrawing from the Istanbul Convention. This is a convention which is essentially should be fighting violence against women, and it's supposed to uh, encourage the signatories to take actions to prevent such violence. But this convention, if you really look at it, you see millions of men imported into the EU who can't even read such a convention, and they've been raised in a macho culture, so they don't care what kind of rights women are supposed to. It's in 2015, the number of women's murders in member states have doubled. We've also seen child, measure, child ma marriage and FGM. And this convention hasn't prevented this. The protection of women against violence means protecting the borders. It's hypocritical to uh, uh, criticize Turkey's with withdrawal when, because they just want to protect the traditional family. That's their right. The Istanbul Convention just pretends to be against violence against women, but actually it has a complete... Uh, gender nonsense is uh, spread by it. Thank you. I now give the floor to Sergei Lagodinsky for the Greens European Free Alliance. Colleagues, this is incredible, and I feel ashamed to have to speak after a speech like that. And honestly, Honestly, for years, we, friends of Turkey, have been telling those people, those opponents, have been trying to convince them that they are incorrect, that we share a common future because we share common values. And now it's the government of Turkey itself that proves us wrong, that tell us that this convention is European values and they don't want to deal with that. No, they want to prove us wrong. But we're not wrong, because they can throw away the rights of women out of the window. They can ridicule their own LGBTI minorities. They can prosecute Kurdish minority and try to ban their party, but they cannot take away the dignity of those people. And we are obliged to the dignity of those people. And the member states, and the member states are obliged to the dignity of those people. That's why don't sell out human rights for realpolitik, and that's why, Mr. Erdogan, stop the withdrawal from the Istanbul Convention. Thank you. Now the floor goes to Jadwiga Wisniewska on behalf of ECR. Madam President, Madam Commissioner, dear colleagues, ECR is against any form of violence and we are very upset about what is happening in Turkey, especially with regard to violence against women and honor crimes. However, this cannot be put into connection exclusively with the Istanbul Convention. NGOs defending the rights of women provide the following data. In 2019, there were 474 feminicides, twice as much as in 2011, even though the convention was in force. However, it proved to be completely useless. Today, the commissioner is talking about the fact that the convention is the most efficient tool against violence. But you must be joking, commissioner. The EU has signed the convention, but in the EU, nonetheless, we have uh, female genital mutilation going on, including with respect to little girls. Girls are being forced to marry adult men in the EU. 
or do you want to talk about uh, surrogacy or about human trafficking? There is a lot to be done in the EU. The convention is not working because it's all about the leftist ideology. Now the floor goes to Eugenia Rodriguez Palo. Erdogan has withdrawn Turkey from the Insta Istanbul Convention at a time when femicide and gender-based violence is on the increase in Turkey. They were the first country to sign it and the only binding instrument to defend women's rights in, you, in the world is this one. He sees the convention as a threat to the traditional va family, as he says, and uh, in the EU, Poland, uh, uh, pro-life people seeing women as machines for reproduction, want to go the same way, even if a pregnancy is uh, the result of rape. So we have to see uh, rights for women, not in terms of the team of the father deciding on behalf of the uh, mother. And this step backwards should have a price. <laughs>